welcome. So today's video is in a slightly less professional location but the content is just as professional I can assure you. So today's video is going to be me performing kind of like mini audits on profiles that I've been given permission to talk about so it's, it's not me just jumping in and criticising people, it's giving genuine advice just to try and help as many people as I can. Okay, so we're going to jump straight into it. So we're starting off with Sophie. You can see Sophie right here. See a lovely profile. So I'm going to kind of take you through the process that I go through, um, but not in too much detail because it's quite a big thing to do. So, so first of all, I'm looking at the profile picture, and it's great. It's great. She's right in the centre. She's really great quality. The background's pretty neutral, and she's right there. She's taking up as much of the circle as possible. So that's fantastic. Her name as well is wonderful because it's pretty close to her actual name and the kind of like about bit of her page is nutritionist and it says nutrition in her name so she's done an excellent job with that. So looking at the bio we've got her location which I always think is really good to include. You've also got a qualification in there which I think is fabulous and exactly who she is. I think the only other thing I would like to see in here is maybe something Maybe a little something more to draw me in, so maybe if she had um, a free thing to offer of some sort. Um, but of course I understand that not everyone's got the time to be making free things and giving them out. Maybe like a free food plan or recipe or something like that, but obviously not something that is giving away too much of her services for free. Then we come down and we can see her highlights. So she does have one, but I would recommend trying to have five because it fills up that whole row. The first post from her highlights was 67 weeks ago and that is the only one. So I know highlights are a little bit of a pain to update, but I really would go recommend going through and adding anything to them, create some more highlights. So for example, you could have certain types of food maybe or a section for food, a section for something else and just splitting it up like that. And then trying to create some highlight covers for it and titling each one accordingly. I just think it looks so much neater and it allows people to find out as much about you as they can before they even scroll all the way down, which is just so, so beneficial. So we're going to take a look at her feed. It's clearly very impressive and she has such good camera quality, like the images are just incredible. My only thought is that all the colours, um, though vibrant, there is a lot going on that kind of, I think it's just lacking some sort of theme or some sort of same, if that makes any sense. So maybe like a stronger preset or something that really ties them all together but without ruining the food because a lot of the time presets on food can change the colour or change something that makes it look disgusting. I know for example my personal preset, if I put it on something green it turns it brown which isn't usually what you want. We're going to take a deep look into one of her posts now so we'll go with the most recent one. They look so good. So we've got air fryer soy sauce crisps. Perfect, straight to the point, that's exactly what they are. Um, maybe she could include a little bit more though, so a little bit more about how she's done it. Now, hashtags. She's only used a few, and though they are all relevant, I would recommend always using 30. Now, I know hashtags are a little bit hit and miss, especially at the moment, but what is the worst that can happen if you put 30 hashtags? <laughs> you might as well try and put all 30 with the off chance of you going viral than not put this. And she's had some comments as well but hasn't yet replied to these and these were from a week ago so I really would recommend just jumping on and liking it and just saying thanks, thank you for your support or just trying to even start up a conversation and really build on that engagement. Now speaking of the date, so this was last posted in February, we got more in February and more in February so she's done quite a few on certain days. I would really recommend trying to get a scheduler so like later's um, free and I'm pretty sure I've got a link that you can use where you'll get an extra 10 posts for free um, and it just means that you can pick one day of the week and say if you only want to post three times a week though I would recommend at least five times a week you could just sit down at the start of the week get it all planned out and then you don't have to worry about it again and it's going up and your only job then from then on once they're posted is to go in and reply to comments as quickly as you can preferably within the first hour of them being posted but all around I think it's really pretty I think the main strength um, for you is that you have great camera quality you have great quality pictures of food camera quality is sadly more valuable than what's actually in the picture which is such a pain I don't mean to be harsh at all but I know from experience that people aren't interested in what you're taking a picture of unless it's good quality and the colours the colours it's just so vibrant and it makes me it makes me want to be healthy as well which is I think good and hopefully your intention is nutritionist. So yeah, I really do like that and I do recommend checking her out below. Okay, so next we have Leora Lily Homesense. I really hope I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry if I'm not. Um, so let me give you a follow there. 
This is handmade luxury wax melts and re-diffusers. All natural star wax, brilliant, cruelty free. Click the link to start shopping. Okay, I'm gonna start with your bio first. Absolutely perfect, I absolutely love it. Cruelty free, fantastic to mention. You've got the ingredients mentioned. You said exactly who you are and you've given me a direction, something to do before I've even scrolled any further down. Fantastic, I absolutely love that. Um, my only thing, and this is very, very, very much personal preference, it would, would just be to capitalise a couple of the words in the top line, but that is literally me just being really picky. I'm going to go back up, so you're, you've got your logo as a profile picture, which I think is always a really good idea. I think my only thought is that it's kind of hard to see and hard to, to read, but it's your logo, so like you would put it as your profile picture, that's completely fine. I think the only suggestion I might have is maybe change the contrast slightly or boost the clarity or something just to make it pop a little bit more, but other than that it's completely fine and the perfect thing to have as a profile picture. Okay, scrolling down, highlights, with highlight covers that match the rest of the feed, which I absolutely love to see. Again, I would suggest maybe having two more, but realistically, if there's nothing you can think of, like no other highlight sections that are relevant, then you don't need to milk it, I suppose. Just leave it as it is. So, posted last one week ago, 16 weeks ago. Okay, you know what? I'm not too mad at that. <laughs> at least you've got one from a week ago. I think that's really good. Honestly, if you went onto mine, I don't think I've posted in them for like a month now. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe I don't practice what I preach enough. I'm just gonna move on to the feed because it's just looking really, really good so far. So I, you know I love themes, you know I do, and this is absolutely perfect. I absolutely love that you've incorporated normal images by having like the border linked with the rest of the like non-image images. Like that is a trick that I do as well, and I absolutely love it. I really, really do. I think it looks so smart and so professional to the point where I don't even need to see anymore. Like I, I you've already got me hooked. Surprise, I like that. Oh, I actually really like the, the fact it's inspired by the Johnsons thing, that's, that's really nice. And I like that you put a link in my bio, it's always good to have a link in your bio as well because people can't click on the description links that you try and put in. Only thing again, hashtags, do try and use all 30, I know it's a pain but if you can spend a bit of time just creating like a hashtag bank for yourself, so create different sets, you could create I'd say five or six sets and then rotate through it through each post. It'll save you loads of time in the long run. Or you can use Flick. Flick is absolutely fantastic for hashtags. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, it's only, it's not expensive for the amount of time that it saves you, especially if you are like a social media manager as well. I think it's like 10 to 12 pounds a month, but you get, you can store all of your hashtags and it's just things for you and there's like a hashtag audit. Incredible. Absolutely not sponsored. I wish. Um, very much recommend it. So again, maybe add in some more um, hashtags again, maybe say a little bit more about this. It's wonderful that you put in your reviews and you like your testimonials basically kind of out there. Um, I think that's lovely, but maybe, maybe show, I'm sure you are grateful, I don't doubt that at all, maybe kind of show that in your caption. Maybe say like another wonderful comment, I, I really appreciate all of you, yada yada yada. <laughs> I like this one, I like the the level of detail in it, I, I like that. I like you saying you've been a, a busy bee because I always think it's good to add a bit more personality into it. I think, if anything, that's the only thing this is lacking, like you as a person coming out into it because people buy from people. Um, and I, I know a lot of people who are much more likely to buy from you if you were showing up every day on your stories, talking about your work. And just finally, I'm just gonna double check that the link does work. You should always do this when you're doing an audit as well. And it does, and she's got a beautiful product. Oh, go and check her out. <laughs> Linked in the description below, they are absolutely gorgeous. But overall, I think this is a wonderful page, and I think with the odd few tweaks, I think it'd be absolutely perfect. I think that, honestly, about everyone I've seen today, I think they're all really, really on board. And again, this is just my opinion. Of course, I'll have to listen to it. Um, but they're just some tips and some advice. If you ever want me to do this for your page, please do let me know. I have um, an audit power hour, which I do, which is where I, I go through your account like on my own and then we'll have a call about it but I'd also love to do another video like this if you enjoyed it so please subscribe and do let me know and thank you so much for watching have a lovely day